Welcome to the show. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Small Talk. So how does a person go from enjoying drinking beer to opening his own brewery? Well, today's guest is doing just that. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Kyle. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Nancy. Okay, so let's go back to the very beginning when you kind of discovered beer sure. yeah. as, as a drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess when I you know, kind of became of age and you know, started <laughs> consuming uh, beer, um, yeah, just always kind of interested in trying something new, um, always chasing, you know, what's a good quality product, you know, what's, what am I into and had a big interest in the actual production of it as well. So, and that was at a young age. Yeah. I guess I started homebrewing when I was 19. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, kids a little bit later when mm -hmm. I got a little bit older and needed a good hobby that was like a something I could do at home because right. I didn't want to be you know leaving the house too much with little kids at home um, so I kind of got back into the home brewing and went went in a little deeper and started doing it um, like not just buying kits like buying all the grains and doing it right from scratch with, with grain and everything like that and um, I guess that kind of coincided with you know the rise of craft beer in BC and mm -hmm. my wife and I um, always kind of had this idea like it'd be so cool if like Hope our hometown which we weren't living in at the time anymore but we always thought it'd be so cool if there was a brewery there and yeah we just sort of started getting the wheels in motion I guess and right here we are now so you're still working on it is it it's not yeah, open yet not open yet no we're kind of hoping May mm -hmm. um, but We'll see. I mean, construct big construction projects. It seems like every project goes late, anyways. Right. So, uh, yeah, a couple. I guess a few years ago, when we decided that this was going to be the direction we were going to go in, I had you had a pretty good, you know, salary job. I was actually working here in Chilliwack um, for a local trucking company. Right. Um, learned a lot. I mean, it was it was a good experience doing that, kind of doing like operations management, but. Um, yeah, we decided, you know, we really wanted to do this whole brewery thing. Um, and my experience had really only been like home brewing up to that point. So we, we kind of created this, I guess, plan of attack and we figured, you know what, you know, especially out, out in Hope, we, we weren't sure if we could rely on always having a, you know, a good qualified brewer that would right. want to come and live out there and, and work for us. So we decided that, well, maybe I should become the brewer, or at least at the very least know how to do it so that if there was any, ever a gap, then I'd be able to step in. Um, so yeah, I quit my job and I went back to school at Kwantlen Polytechnic in Langley because they, mm -hmm. I guess a couple years earlier, started up their uh, brewing and uh, brewery operations program. So I applied to that and once I had received approval that I was in the program, well, I guess I waited to quit my job until I got <laughs> in. But, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I, we were living down in Port Moody at the time and like Brewers Row down there was already a big thing. Right. Uh, there was like four breweries open down on Murray Street. So I just started applying to all those breweries and said, you know what, I'll, I'll come. I don't have any experience, but I'll do anything. And uh, yeah, I ended up getting hired at one and worked in the lounge a little bit, serving the beer. Then they gave me a chance to work in the brewery. So I learned kind of the, the back end, the production oh, yeah. side. And yeah, it was it was great. And I guess that was... I guess that was three years ago now right so because I was wondering I'm glad you told me all of that because I was wondering like you, there's a lot of research in if you if you don't get like go to school and mm -hmm. then, like how do you find out what equipment you need how do you find out what the best mm -hmm. where do you get the best hops or, or whatever it is that goes into making yeah. beer like I I don't know because I've never made beer mm -hmm. uh, so you know how do you get all that and um, you know there's a lot of really really talented home brewers out there that I think could step into like a production setting and maybe have a go at it and probably be successful. Right. Um, I think a lot of it just comes from people's passion, wanting to learn more, make a better product. Right. Um, you know, as far as, you know, you mentioned hops. I mean, the Fraser Valley has a lot of great hop farms. There's a, you know, even a farm up in the Fraser Canyon that we've been kind of working with. Right. Um, that are trying to start producing some hops there as well. Mm -hmm. So yes, it means really exciting. And there's a great uh, little maltster in 
where are they? Armstrong, I think. A little witch? Uh, like a malting facility. Oh. So they pick the grains and then turn it into the product that we can actually brew with. Right. So, but where do you buy your vats and all of that type of equipment? Uh, there's lots of options for that. We decided, like, we wanted to get as much kind of Canadian built equipment. Nice. We did go for some um, Chinese tanks just because of the cost, the price point, especially starting up. I mean, it's a lot of money that going into this brewery so mm -hmm. we kind of you know decided to go that route just to save some money but our main piece of equipment like the actual brew house is like 100 percent canadian manufactured it's actually being built in chilliwack here very nice company right yeah uh crew brewing systems shout out <laughs> <laughs> okay well we're just gonna take a quick break okay sure. stay tuned we'll be right back I'm talking to Adam Kyle about his brewing business. So what, what's the name of your company? Uh, we named our company the Mountain View Brewing Company. And why that name? Is there any reason? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I'd mentioned that like me and my wife, we both grew up in Hope. Yes. And actually, like when we were in high school, we both lived on Mountain View Crescent. And that's, I guess we kind of met there. Uh -huh. we there. So we started dating, we lived on Mountain View Crescent. Very good. Yeah. Now, does your is your wife part of the company? Part of the yeah, business? Yeah, she's I guess the other the other half of you know ownership. Mm -hmm. um, my side obviously is more like kind of the brewing side. So I'm going to be you know I'll be doing officey stuff too. But you yeah. know spend a lot of time in the brewery. And my wife, who's uh, Danielle, yeah. she's more like she's got more of a background in marketing. So if you ever see any of the you know our posts on social media, that's always Danielle. All right, taking care okay. of that stuff and so she's kind of I keep calling her the director of marketing <laughs> <laughs> very good that you gave her a title yeah. <laughs> so now off topic you play the guitar I do yeah are you That's proficient right. at playing the guitar um maybe was proficient was yeah I haven't I just I honestly just kind of got back into it um I think before when we were living in Port Moody we had a much smaller space and we had young kids so they were mm. napping at weird times of the day and just so it was a little bit too noisy to be, you know, <laughs> rocking out too much in there. So, oh, so that's the type of music you play? Oh, I'll kind of play anything, but yeah, I guess you know my background's probably mostly in rock and right. I just play a little bit of jazz and stuff too. Very good. Now, how many children do you have? I've got two kids. Yeah. And how old are four they? Four and six. What are their names? Uh, little one four is Eleanor and. Hello, Eleanor. <laughs> the older one is Audrey. Audrey, and hello, Audrey. Six, yeah. Just so if they ever get to see this, they'll see yeah, that they were mentioned. Yeah, I'm sure we'll show it to them. <laughs> they might like that. You yeah. never know. So, uh, any other hobbies? Um, I mean, I love being out in the outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that was probably a big motivator for us to move back to Hope. For me, anyways, is I just love hiking. And right. um, I, mean, I kind of grew up exploring, you know, the mountains and all the kind of canyons and valleys and stuff out there. So. Right. Okay, let's get back to brewing again. I just mm -hmm. want to know, like... In your mind, how do you see it growing? You know, are you going to have like a bunch of uh, employees, or is it just going to keep it a small business? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it'll, I think it'll grow, for sure. Like once we, once we open, we don't. I mean, there is no brewery in Hope already. So as far as you know, how much beer we're actually going to sell, I mean, it's kind of a best guess. I made some, you know, informed guesses, I guess, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you know we're gonna wait and see how it how it all shakes out when when we do open. Um, I mean the thing I noticed. I mean I already I already I always knew this about Hope, but you know finally moving back and being there for this past summer, it was like a bit eye opening. It's like holy cow, this is it's really busy in the summertime. Right. Oh, you a know? lot of tourists, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Like just even driving through town, it's like, where'd all this traffic come from? You know? Right. Yeah. Uh, for a small town of, you know, around 7,000 people, it's, it's right. a big change. Um, so I, you know, I think, you know, summer will be, will be busy. You know, there's been a lot of local support. Everyone's really excited and being, you know, really supportive of us. So that's really awesome. So Good. I think people are excited and I'm sure they'll be coming out, you know, during the winter months as well when it's a bit slower. Oh, I'm sure, yeah, because when something new comes to town, something mm -hmm. they don't have, uh, yeah. it's really a good thing for the town. Mm -hmm. Now we're out of town. T 
time completely. Okay. But this has been really good. Yeah. I appreciate you coming to the yeah, show. Yeah, thanks so much. For sure. And thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. Peace out.